I think we played this perfectly because... Alright, Emily's birthday is on the 3rd, so in a week. Evelyn's birthday is also on the 1st, so it's in a week. That's like three days. Emily has an indie playlist, punk playlist. Let's see what we got here. We're grown ups now. Look at this cute couple. Oh, that's that's us. That's Emily, that's me. Sweet, let's go. Oops, that's Matt. There's Matt. Uh, Kelly? I think that's Kelly. And then this is Evelyn. Evelyn catching snowflakes. Okay, good. Make sure we got so these are all these ones. Kelly posted four photos. Matt and Vincent, not so much. So Matt fell. Me and Emily doing just fine. Sweet. Ice skating. Double date time. Aw, oh, it was a double date. Let's go. But then all I want for Christmas is you and an iPod. Kelly wrote on Matt's wall, hey Matt, I know you said you're busy today, but can you help me with the pictures tomorrow? Sorry Kelly, can't tomorrow, but can you hang out Saturday? I need to tell you something. So that was Thursday. I see you, Vincent. What am I doing here? Am I peeing? Got that one. This is a good picture. Look at this cute couple. Let's go. Emily wrote on my wall. All right, hey, are you free tomorrow night? Because I am. Let's go. And then Matt is now single. So Emily poked us. Let's poke her back. It's Vincent. I feel like she should have been like, hey, babe, or something. I don't know. I feel like it's Vincent. Doesn't sound very like romantic. I don't know. How dare you put me back? I hope you realize this means war. So violent today. You're gonna regret those empty threats. Or really, you're gonna regret this. We've been poking each other since like the first time. Uh, hey. Maybe, but not for like a while. I hereby declare a poke war. So anticlimactic, you're going down. I'm typically a pacifist, but you're going down. What's going on? Emily has poked me again. Poke her back. Feel free to be the bigger person and give up at any time. No way in hell. Kelly, so sorry. Poor, poor Kelly. Kelly is now single. I never modeled anything, but if you're desperate, text me. So now Evelyn and Kelly are now friends. Okay. So how was your day? Is so awesome. Yeah, she's so awesome. You had a good day. Happy. Is Matt Gursky is only forward. What the fuck does that mean? Gave a gift to Emily I, and Evelyn. He's he's trying to shoot a shot with everybody in this in this damn situation here. So that was, this was Thursday. So I think what happened was, it seems like Thursday they were supposed to do some pictures. Here's Friday, and then yesterday. So something happened on Saturday. This is when they were supposed to do pictures on Saturday. But that's when they broke up. So something must have happened on that Saturday. Run away from this profile as you can. I love you more than you love Taco Bell, but this is still here. I wonder if they could. You're my whole world, Kelly. He hasn't changed a lot of this stuff, so he's still like. He probably still likes Kelly. I think Kelly probably broke up with him. What'd you get up to? School shit? Video games? Let's go. Let's go just play video games. How about you? I spent. Uh, the past few hours listening to music. Nice. Let's go. Uh, about to update my playlist. Okay. You send me your playlist. Classic. Well, that's cool. I want to listen. Yeah, let's listen. Uh, we can pick a gift for Emily. Thong, cake, champagne. Let's do flower. 
what you've always wanted. A real gift is coming later because you're an adult now. A real gift is coming later. Oops. Oh shit. New Mastercraft? Hell yeah. Dang. I thought it was, I was trying to do this. Real gift is coming later. I promise. Do I need virtual rows? Wait, I actually just had the best idea of all time. Does it end well there? I'm on whatever it is, I'm on board 100%. And then the link that Emily sent was a Justice D A N C E Mastercraft Remix. I'm not gonna listen to that because what's it called? Um, copyright. Dude, she's not stomp the poking thing. It's gonna make this conversation super romantic. That's impossible. So it's a room with them all for that. Uh -huh. Here, play this along with the music. Moody Rain. What up, Jacob? So she sent this link, and it's just Moody Rain. Add gentle rain to your environment, enhance your music, sleep better, relax, kind of things like that. It's just a website to that. With the music at the same time, I love th I, I do love thunderstorms. Um, if you don't remember, Jacob, we're dating Emily right now. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not actually stoked on this. I think these are pretty much your style. I don't like that Matt sent her a pink thong situation here. Something tells me Matt's gonna try to like. This is game three. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling Matt is gonna try to like swoop in on Emily. Yeah. Do do you do you remember what happened, Jacob? I can I can go over like a brief synopsis of what happened. Uh, imagine us stuck in the rain. There's thunder so calming, and the rain smells so good. Not to mention the whole us making out part. Stop you kissing. I don't need convincing. Please don't mention that. Soggy kissing. I know that's my favorite. And, uh, is the is the music too loud? It feels like it. this might be a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn it down just like a tad bit. I love how you make me laugh. Well, I love your laugh. I do try to make me laugh too. Well, I do love your laugh. I feel like now. I feel like now that we're dating Emily. And we haven't said anything that could jeopardize us or done anything. Like we haven't really, we haven't tried to be romantic with Evelyn. We haven't done anything, like, bad. I think we have a high chance of sticking with her. It's just we have three episodes to try to stick with her. And with Matt being kind of seems like he's a he's a like a fuckboy character. I think we might have to work, like look out for him. I'm hoping that him and Kelly get back together or something happens with him and Evelyn because he he was trying to get with Evelyn or he tried to make a move on her but we'll see what happens uh, I want to get stuck in the rain with you for real but all we have right now is snow the snow is fucking dope could try making out in the snow we want Eva <laughs> I do want to I do want to try doing a playthrough with Evelyn I, I did look I played through the second game like sped, like sped run through the second game, and I had the same situation happen where I accidentally, I accidentally missed Evelyn's um, message because we were timed, and I was with Emily again. But I ended that game with Emily saying like I love you and all that stuff like that, which was which was nice. It was, I mean, we got the good ending with that, but I would like to do the Evelyn, the Evelyn route too, because I think there's just different dialogue, but it's more or less the same, like like key points and, and key situations you owe me money have to make tea again that you owe me like a hundred bucks uh nice try just remember that we have a fucking date tonight a fucking date oh shit uh did you say we have a fucking date <laughs> 
Whoa, get your mind out of the gutter, Vincent. I know, I'm just messing around. Sorry, 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 sorry. Did we ever decide what we were doing? That was definitely your job. Don't think so. Something fun. Oh, that's a good thing. I'm glad she didn't take that the wrong way. All right, it's only been a month. It's only been a month, so I don't want to try to rush anything. Hey, baby. It's only been a month. I don't want to. I don't want to try to rush anything with her quite yet. She's spoken like mad. Here briefly before going out with her. That sounds good. I'll be here. I'm only gonna do this episode, and then I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm, t I'm supposed to have a call with with Zach, but he hasn't hit me back up yet. So I told him like around 8:30 I'll be free. So that's around the time that um that's around the time that Icy's on. So I hopefully can like um raid him. I don't think they'll have nearly as that many viewers that's really gonna matter but still but I hope you have a good walk with Luna uh, how about you pick okay so what do we do here we want to do the movies the mall or driving around last time we did driving around the movies can be romantic you know we can always have a, we could we could have a nice time at the movies driving around is always good Katie and I used to drive around all the time especially during COVID during during COVID during COVID it was actually really nice because it was pretty empty on the and Katie and I would just drive around listening to music and stuff like that with her dog. Those are good times. I love just driving around too. I don't know about you guys, but I I love driving around. I did deliveries. I still do deliveries from time to time. And just being in LA and driving was just the best. Like it's just I don't know. There's something peaceful. I mean, obviously, you have to be careful. There's idiots on the road, but it's just nice, especially at night. Driving in, in Hollywood and LA at night is is amazing. Uh, movies, driving around. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do driving around. Let's do let's just drive around. I think that's good. Oh, be a couple of angsty teens. Hell yeah! I don't know. Just listen to some of your electronic music. I'll sync up my new iPod now, so you can. DJ, hell yeah, I'm gonna use that power. The best iPod DJ in the world. Sounds just like me. Uh, I wonder what your st Oh, what's my stage name? Oh, V? No shit. Okay, so. So. Uh. Fun, fun, fun fact and information. When I was growing up, my sister, could, my little sister, couldn't say Vincent, and so she would say uh, V, or it would sound like she was saying the letter V, like as in boy, but she was trying to say V. So now my dad and her and her, her, my stepmom and that whole side of the family calls me V. And and surprisingly, other people have called me that like it's just been something that's followed me since i was i was young even people that don't know my my sister or that side i'm so excited like i like us a whole lot this is probably like the healthiest relationship i've ever had let's fucking go dude uh same here for me that makes me feel good glad i'm not screwing up i'm not trying to make this about me that makes me feel good same i'm just saying same here for me i think this is the only relationship I've ever been in. Dude. Thanks for the birthday gift. Spent a long time in and out. Don't you love it? You're welcome. I have to say you're welcome. A rose flower have romantic. Are you are you a romantic, Jacob? Are you someone that likes to, to date around? Are you are you more of a, a relationship person? Do you like sticking to one person or do you like to date around a little bit? And there's no judgment for either one. I know I know I know a, a few friends that like to like to keep their options open and I know people that like to just stick with one person and that's it. Okay, be honest, did you remember or did Face never tell you? No, it was all memory. Evelyn's birthday soon too. I wonder what 
What should I send? How did talking? Oh, how did talking to her go? Are you two like good now? Are you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you two like good now? I think that's a that's a legit question. Emily Singer is oh shit got an angsty date tonight. Let's fucking go. This poke war is just nonstop. Oh, you know what's sad though? And I bet this happens with other people that have played this. Is like you get into this game. And you date Emily, but then you do, someone does something to like piss her off, and she stops poking you back. That's sad. It's depressing. Kelly gave Emily a birthday gift. She gave her a cake. Does Evelyn have anything on her wall for her birthday? Do people send her any? Oh yeah, she. Okay, here you go. It's almost Evelyn's birthday. I can just give her. I don't want to give her a thong. I don't want to give her a thong. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Nope. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to give her a thong. Fuck that. Fuck that, dude. I ain't doing that. I don't care if Evelyn gets mad at me that I didn't give her something. I'm not giving her a thong. That's so stupid. Fuck that. Last thing I'm gonna try to do is get in, a, in an argument with Emily. IDK, like we got together, she apologized and so did I. I think she wants to put the past behind her as much as I do. That's great. That's glad to hear that. I'd rather be in a relationship, honestly, but it's been a while. I've tried to focus on other things. That's good, Jacob. I, I've, I've told that to my to my cousins and my, um, what's it called? Uh, my younger sister and other people of like, it makes a huge difference when you you work on yourself first and really work on the things that you need to, whether it's uh, finances or mentality, even physicality, or just different things that you know your 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 mental state, all that stuff like that, um, before you jump into a relationship because it just it's just going to amplify things better if you do that as opposed to just trying to get in a relationship because you feel like you need to and that's just not healthy you know Relation relationships are great but they're also a shit ton of work and they can be pretty damn damaging if you're not careful you know there, there's people that are damaged that damage other people and you, that's why I, that's why I'm like work on yourself first and find someone else that's working on themselves are constantly working on themselves you know and there's no there's no time frame for the perfect relationship either it's just kind of hard like we're not friends again but we're friendly I think that's fine you just, you just give it some time had to start somewhere no more cryptic wall posts it's stupid give us some time have to start somewhere I think you just have to, that's okay. You have to start somewhere, right? Yeah, that's fine. Dude, she is poking like mad. She wasn't joking about this fucking poke war. So Emily gave Evelyn a fucking rose. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can pick a gift here. Okay, so let me do, let me do the balloon. I'm gonna do the balloon. I think the balloon is fine. Pick a gift. I hope you have a good one. Here's a, there we go. That's okay. There we go. Okay, we're we're, we're chilling now. We have a little balloon. That's fine. That's super neutral. Like there's no romantic aspect of it or anything like that. Uh, you can start somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Hey, thanks again for helping me with the Evelyn stuff. I really appreciate it. Of course, anytime. Of course. Yeah, 100%. I believe that fully, but for me, I just wasn't ready yet. After my last relationship, a lot happened. Oh, that makes sense, dude. I won't. I won't try to pry into that. But if you don't want to talk about that, then I completely understand, though. I think it's important to take time off of, uh, take time for yourself after you've gotten out of a relationship, especially if it's a long one, or if it was a long one. I gotta admit, at first, I thought me and Eva were kind of beyond re reconciling but like whatever we are is better than before certainly less stressful i knew it would work out that's what matters most but like whatever we are is better than before certainly less stressful. that's what matters most yeah that's what that's what matters most i don't i want to say to me i don't think that's uh, kind of dumb 
Uh, Kelly also gave Evelyn a gift. Happy birthday, Evelyn. We should hang out soon if you're not too busy. Okay. I still this is gonna, this is crazy. Kelly doesn't know that Matt hit on Evelyn. Evelyn obviously knows that Matt hit on her, and I wonder if they hang out. If Kelly and Evelyn hang out, will Evelyn tell Kelly that Matt tried something? Now that Kelly and Matt are broken up, dude. Shit's too too spicy. There you go, just a lot to say over text. Oh yeah, no, I, I get you. This game is all cheese, man. That's what I'm saying. This is so good. I love my cheese. I love cheese, man. Cheese, man is my shit. So spicy. It's like and, and it's like and, and it's, it's like watching a soap opera, but I don't like no, I don't like cheese man in real life. I like fake cheese man. I like watching like the Netflix reality show cheese man. That's my kind of cheese man. I don't like the real life cheese man, especially when it when when it deals with me or my loved ones. Anybody else? I don't think I don't give a fuck. Turns out I should listen to you more often instead of just tuning you out. Tuning me out? Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. What? What did you call me? I like this. I I like this Emily and Vincent relationship right now. Honestly, I think they have a very cute back and forth here. It'll I, it'll be really interesting to see where, where this goes. I just really hope no one comes in between this. See what you did there. Women aren't smart, what? Call me Mr. Christ, what the fuck? Je oh, Jesus, I like you a lot. Call me Mr. Christ. Oh my god, no. Yeah, I like you too. Call me Mr. Christ. Whoa, wanna go out. Sorry, I'm taken. This year with you has been great. It's been pretty okay. Personally, I'm a fan. Best year ever. Personally, I'm a fan. You post, Emily is now friends with Anna McKinley. Who the fuck is Anna McKinley? I have no idea what I'm doing. So they go to school with us. Their birthday just passed. They work at a sandwich shop. Disregard females, acquire currency. That's, that's interesting. Okay, she's single. Okay. I'm not gonna send a, a, a friend request. I don't do that in real life usually either. I'm, I'm so over adding people, like on on Instagram or like following people and they don't add you back. So I'm just like, I just, just let people follow me instead. And if they do, if I know them, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll follow you back. Uh, who knew senior year would be so much fun? Everyone is so, like, free or something. I don't know. Free meaning... You mean, like, hippies? You mean, like, everyone suddenly turned into hippies? Emily is poking me. They're just poking. Unbelievable. Uh, Anna wrote on Emily's wall, Hey, I made a profile like you told me to, so, like, now what? Okay, so Emily and Anna are clearly friends. I don't know who the fuck Anna is, though. Watch, watch Anna be a lesbian and she tr and she tries to get with Emily? Shit. No, like all the cliques are just kind of falling apart. It's the drugs. We're just old now. I think we're yeah, I think we're just I think we're just old now. We're like super old, it's just kinda cool. It's like I'm meeting some people for the first time. Yeah, clicks. Nice to meet you, Em. I'm Vincent. Yeah, clicks are the worst. Poke. Oh, hey, you know what? I got a job for you. What's my what's your job? I convinced this girl from English to make a profile. Can you friend her? What's this job pay? Emily wrote on Anna's wall. I can't see. Oh, okay, so I have to friend her. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll set her as a friend. That's fine. 
abstractly Anna. That's actually kind of a dope name. She just got it. She just got it. Anna is now my friend. Anna is now friends with Vincent Nutt. Shout out, Vincent Nutt. Oh shit, let me message you. We gotta get you some more friends. She said you look cute in your profile picture, and I was like, I know. I'm more than eye candy. She looks cute too? Ooh, what the fuck? Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. No. That's not even. I'm more than eye candy. Oh my god, imagine saying that? That would be terrible. No. She plays guitar. I wonder if that's an Arduino. More pictures, okay, so me and my guitar, okay. So she plays guitar. Vincent Nut, yeah. <laughs> you 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 know about uh about Nut, Jacob, from the from the Jubilee uh videos and stuff like that? Uh, sure, I wish you were in our class. We have like the best group. Her and Jeff are absolutely hilarious. Who's Jeff? Who is Jeff? I don't like when there's more characters involved now. That's more people that I have to worry about. It's just fun to get to know new people, you know? Not to me. Can't wait for can't wait for college. I got it. Yeah, I get what you mean. Plus, you know, I do have an opening for a proper best friend. After me and Evelyn, well, you know, thought that was me, you should try a whole. Uh, thought that was me, you should hold tryouts. Do you need a best friend? I thought that, I thought that was me. What? I thought that was supposed to be me. Two unread posts. Uh, Jeff wrote on Emily Singer's wall. What? You got Anna to join? It's about time. Okay, so now Jeff. I can't look at his wall because we're not friends and they're single. Who's Danielle? I don't know who Danielle is. Chris, there's so many more people. Steve? Shit. I don't like this. This is too much. I'm stressed. Push, you don't count, we're already together. I just think having other friends is super important. I don't know, I agree it is. I agree it is. I agree. The thing is, is that if she tries to be good friends with Jeff or Steve or somebody else, will they try to maneuver their way into making Emily like them? Out of curiosity, who would you say is your closest friend right now? you I mean I would say that so this is the thing is like you gotta trust Emily to be faithful you're not wrong yeah you're not you're not wrong and, and that's what I'm, I'm, I was thinking that too is like you don't want to you don't want to come off as jealous you don't want to come off or anything like that. You, you do have to just trust and that's and that's and that's hundred percent correct in this situation like I would consider Katie probably the closest person that I'm that I know right now. Like, are there things she doesn't know about me that other people know? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, probably so sure the same thing is for her. But, and I don't think that's bad to have your best friend also be your significant other. But I'm. Ooh. Who would you say is your closest friend right now? But Matt, Matt is obviously like the, the, the friend that we've probably grown up with the most. Evelyn is completely out of it. She, she's not even a, a thought she's cool and we're leaving her we're leaving Evelyn for Jacob you want to leave Evelyn for Jacob I could be cute I'm gonna say I'm gonna, yeah, you know what I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna say Matt I think Matt Matt too what the fuck why would Matt why would why would why would Matt and Emily be close? That doesn't make sense. I don't like that. I'd probably say Matt too, but like I don't know how true that is. Like him and Kelly broke up. I didn't see that shit coming at all. I had no idea. I heard some things. 
Yeah, we could do some crazy cheese night right now. We c oh shit. So for those of you that don't know, Matt Matt hit on Evelyn when Ev when Matt and Kelly were together. Matt and Kelly were together for a while. They broke up, right? They're just single. But while they were together, Kelly and Matt, Matt hit on Evelyn. Evelyn told us that Matt hit on us. Matt doesn't know that we know. Emily doesn't know. So now we're in this situation here. Emily says that they're best friends. I just said that Matt is my best friend, or one of my closest friends. Do we throw him under the bus and say we heard some things? I don't. I wouldn't say we knew it was coming. I just. I don't know. This is this is a little tricky here. I mean, technically, I did not have an idea that they were going to break up. I mean, this it's like. It could have been a, just a, a lapse moment of judgment. Heard some things. Because if I do, if I say I heard some things and I throw him under the bus, Emily might think that's kind of weird that I just said that Matt would be the closest friend. Kind of knew it was coming. I was. I don't know. I really don't. I'm gonna say I had no idea. Let's let's see let's see where let's see where we go with. It. It might it might be best for Emily to figure out that that's kind of a fuck boy on her own. We went ice skating this week. They seemed so happy because they were hiding and something was a little off. Looks like something was a little. I think something. Some, I think something was a little off. Maybe. I didn't notice. That's okay. You're too you're too pure for this world, Emily. Uh, breakups are the worst. Let's never do that. They really are. Sometimes they gotta happen. Let's never do that. They really are. Yeah, they actually really are. It just sucks for everyone involved. Yeah, a breakup sucks because of. Not even just for, for for the people involved, but it's also like the friends. I know people that have like lost friends because of breakups and shit like that. It just it just sucks for everyone involved. I hope Matt and Kelly are like okay, they'll be fine with time. Probably just emotional right now. I mean, one of them is. I mean, one of them is. I don't know what that. Probably just emotional. Sounds good, Jacob. Thank you for the lurk, my guy. I don't know. Matt hasn't posted anything all day. It makes me kind of worried. Maybe he's out being single. Or just wants to be. Out. Maybe he's out being. Maybe he's out living up that single life. I don't think so. Why? What? That's Kelly. Kelly is. Kelly is sorry. I just texted him asking how he's doing. I know that was nice of you. Nice to meet you. He's always been so nice to me. I'm just trying to be thoughtful. We played earlier, and I was only one k off of him on a song. Hell yeah, let's go. Is distortion is distortion pretty good? I don't. I'm not familiar with his with his game. Text it back. What do you say? Oh no, it sounds like he was torn up pretty bad about the breakup. He wants to call me in a few minutes. Do you want, do you want to talk to him? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Fuck, I, I trust Matt. I don't think Matt's gonna try anything. Is that like not okay? It's just some, it's just something. No, of course it's okay. Heard a rumor about him and you. Oh, that's right. 
Thank you for the alert. Cutie. Have a good walk with Luna. I'll text you. You slightly below red skill level, I want to say. Oh, okay. That's pretty that's damn good. I mean very very good player. He destroyed me on all the eh, on all the others. Nice. Hell yeah. You're getting good, Jacob, man. You're you're just you're getting continuously better, man. Especially doing these tournament songs and stuff like that. No, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna I'm gonna completely trust. I'm not gonna throw Matt under the bus here. I'm not going to. Bros before hose. I heard he might be. Damn, dude, you can really get into this. I heard he might be into you. Everything's fine. I promise. Why wasn't he should be calling us? Yeah, I guess this means no more double dates. So the student go right. Yeah. Photographer prom, would you be interested? No pay, but experience. Let's admit, I'm like morbidly curious. I wonder who broke up with who. Kelly probably did. I, d I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Which probably means one of them was blindsided to what can you do? Oh god, I have a feeling Evelyn's gonna No, I told Evelyn that I would keep it a secret. I'm being I'm being true to Evelyn and being a good friend to her. Even I uh, it's just I don't know. This is this is this is such a st sticky situation here. What can what can well, you know, what can you do? Yes. Getting a phone call. Okay, so I'm assuming Evelyn's probably gonna hit us up now. Well, what if Kelly hits us up? Shit, dude, I'll date Kelly. I don't go for. Uh, what did he? What did he say? He was just quiet for a few seconds, then hung up. He must be really fuck fucked up. Brutal breakup. Shit. I guess so. He must be really fucked up. Maybe you should message him yourself. You two are like close. I guess I could try. Yeah, I guess I could try. That's a homie. I've been hydrating. Okay. Walk. Next one. Yeah, of course, baby. <laughs> Oops. Getting too into it. It sounds selfish, but seeing Kelly and Matt like this makes me so grateful for us. I'm thankful. I'm thankful too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just glad that we're in such a good place. I have to be the luckiest person alive. Oh, see, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're good with Emily right now. I think we're doing okay. Well, I still like you more, so I think so. Prove it. Um, who has a status screaming about our date night? That'd be me. That's very true. She does. Uh, where is it? Oh shit! Got an angsty date tonight. That's true. Very true. All right, let's try. We can write a status. I had the best sandwich today. Likes Emily way more. What's going on, with with them? Depends on like way more. Period. End of story.
Surprise. I am a genius. I have a brilliant idea to figure this out, okay? I found this Facebook relationship quiz thing. Oh, we should totally do it. I'm game. If you want to. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get all the information that I have. I'm gonna get everything about her. January 3rd, B Day. Birthday, uh, I'm trying to think of, is there anything else? Indie playlist, indie music, snow patrol, passion pit, Florence and the machine. And Empire of the Sun. Okay. It would be nice if I could see her. This is like, dear Nintendo, we need a Mario game. Okay. Fuzzy World. I wonder if can I can I see her. Damn, I don't have her her old. I don't have her old. What's it called? Her old note that she had. That's fine. I don't want to do this stupid thing anyways. I want to talk to Kelly. I want to see if what the hell Kelly's going on. What's going on with Kelly, dude? Is she okay? No one, why is Emily not talking to Kelly? Here, you start the quiz. I'll do it after. That's not fair. Don't want to go. That sounds free. That's not fair. Hey, I did the whole note survey first member. Okay, true. Okay, okay. Be right back. Miss you. Peace. Totally accurate compatibility quiz. Oh, shit. Okay. Totally accurate competitive quiz is requesting permissions for the following public information, post on my wall. Okay. A genie appears and will grant you one wish. What is it? To be liked by everybody. Some superpower, telekinesis, invisibility, world peace, and the end of human suffering. Probably do this. What smiley would you most likely use to show you're excited? Uh, this one? What does she use? She uses that one. What kind of clothes do you wear most often? Normal stuff. Comfy sweats or pajamas? Nothing. Comfy sweats or pajamas. Let's go. If you're getting pumped up for something, what's your iPod playing? Daft Punk, Snow Patrol, Kanye West. You're getting pumped up for something though, so I'm gonna put Daft Punk here. Do you eat meat? I'm a vegetarian. I am a vegetarian. It's Saturday night and you're having fun. What are you doing? Chilling, playing video games, partying at rentals. Some more of crowds from your concert. Video games. You get a call from the president. Why are they calling? I have a particular set of skills. Oh no, the feds found my family to gossip. We're toast to be thefts. 
for advice on geopolitical economics or something. I got a pretty good set of skills. Where do you want to travel most? New York, Tokyo, Los Angeles. Tokyo? I say Tokyo. Which of the following would you absolutely never do? Cheat on someone, like a friend, kill another person. I, I mean... Fucking kill? Like... This is... This is... Which of the following would you absolutely never do? I would never kill anybody. Lie to someone. Obviously people lie. Cheat. I mean, this is the best... This is the worst out of three bad things, I guess. Uh, it's late and you're getting tired. What do you do to relax before bed? Curl up with a book. Sit on the couch and watch the TV. Get in bed early. Crack a Red Bull and stay up. Was she reading? I don't remember if she read books. Not really. Read a good book. You need coffee ASAP. Where do you go? Starbucks. Some cr local craft roaster. Let's go. You're on a date, and all these films are playing. What do you see? The Strangers, Eternal Sunshine, Sweeney Todd, Spirited Away. I like this one. On a date? This is pretty good. What's the furthest you'd go on a first date? Kiss or making out? Mouth stuff? All the way. What's the furthest you'd go on a first date? Kissing or making out? I'm trying to think of, like, Emily. What does she do? What talent would you most like having? Be super smart and like everything. With like everything. Be able to draw, ink, paint, the art things. Know how to actually DJ. DJing super easy. Ability to play guitar like Dragon Force well. Uh, I feel like the art thing would be good. What is the most important trait for a romantic partner that can make you want? They're honest, physically attractive, they can independent honesty. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yo, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go! <sighs> Fuck yeah, we got it, dude. We got it, dude. Matt, Matt. Kel oh, we did, we got hit up by Kelly. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Dude, this game, this game is so good. Holy shit, dude. I was, I was like half expecting to be able to talk to Kelly, but I did not think I was going to be able to talk to Kelly. Oh man, this is this is tough because uh, again I can throw Matt under the bus here. I can say that we know. We told Evelyn that we wouldn't say anything. I'm sticking. All right, we are reconnected now. We are reconnected. Thanks, OBS. I appreciate you. Well, I've been better. It's been a rough few days. Can't imagine. If you, yeah, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine. We didn't have any drop frames. It was just OBS. Makes sense. You're really kind. I try. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just thank you. I'm sure you know by now that me and Matt broke up. Yeah. I heard again, I'm so sorry. I yeah, I heard. I'm not I'm not gonna do anything to throw Matt under the bus here. Because I think if I do anything that throws Matt under the bus, he's going to a hundred percent try to put a wrench in me and Emily's relationship, and I'm not trying to have that happen. 
No. It's okay. I was just hoping to ask you for a favor. I'm here always. Yeah, of course, something always. I got you, Kelly. Kelly's completely neutral with me. I have I have no beef with Kelly. First you have to promise not to like repeat this to anybody. Okay, we're keeping we're keeping secrets. Of course not, I promise. Um Are you like free tonight? No, I have a date with Emily. Oh, bummer, I just know you're really good at listening and, like, giving advice and stuff. We can talk now. Yeah, why don't we just talk? We can talk, just talk right now. Okay. Katie asked me to show you this picture of Luna. There's Luna. I don't know if you guys can see it. Luna. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Thank you for the reset. Babe. I mean, we can definitely talk about stuff now if you need to. Oh, you thought that? No, not me. I was asking for that. Oh, 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 okay, so she's, ch oh, Kelly is chilling. I think Kelly probably broke up with Matt. You don't, oh, my mistake. Sorry, my mistake. No worries, I just wanted to ask if you would talk to him. He hasn't really spoken to me since I broke up with, I, okay, so there's that. We broke up with him, or she, Kelly broke up with him, okay. Sorry, you had. Why did you guys break up? Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna ask. I wanna. I wanna know. I wanna know. Thank you for the lurk, baby. I mean, for a, a lot of reasons, it had been growing for a while. Did Evelyn talk to you? Was it about him? Did something happen? Well, now, like, did something happen? I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, it wasn't anything big. Matt has always been good and faithful and all that. Yeah, okay, sure. People just change sometimes, don't you think? People just, uh, are you, you're saying you change? People just change sometimes. Like... Usually, yeah, there, usually there is a reason. I'm not trying to get on Kelly's bad side, but I'm gonna I'm keeping Evelyn's promise. I'm not going to mention anything about um I'm not gonna mention anything about what's it called about Matt. Sometimes yes, but sometimes no. Like we're just different people now than junior year. And we want different things in life, that's a good reason. Glad it wasn't super dramatic. I just feel bad, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. Okay, so that's what you're saying. Plus it's senior year, everything is ending soon anyways. Yeah, college is coming. Everything's ending soon. Not everything has to. Yeah, not everything. Well, I mean, it says everything has to end. I'm sure you and Matt will stay in touch. So he hasn't messaged you about the breakup then? Nope. No, I guess he wants... No. no. I guess he just wants time alone. He doesn't want time alone because he tried to talk to Emily. That doesn't sound like Matt and you are his best friend. He has other best friends. Always thought he was just joking. Other best friends to talk to. He really doesn't. Could you please message him? I feel like I would just do more harm than good. I don't know if you think it will help. I'm sure, if you think it'll help.
Interesting. And can you tell him I'm like sorry? Tell him you're sorry yourself. What the fuck? I'm not. I don't want to be a middleman for someone in this breakup situation. There was like nothing he could have done. You know. I'm sure. I'll make sure he knows. You should. You should tell. Him. You should. Grow some balls, Kelly. I will in time. Oh, you'll need to friend to request his new profile. Okay. So he's got a new fucking profile. Jesus, dude. He's got no friends. Look at this. Look at this guy. What's wrong with the old one? Probably. I mean, this, I know this answer. He's, there's too many memories and things like that. With the old profile, he wants a fresh new start. He friended, he friended me from this one late last night, but when I went to accept it this morning, the request was gone. Kinda understanding him. Can can kinda understand him. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what was it, like two days ago you guys broke up? This is super fresh, and you guys are like 18, 19 years old. 18 years old. It just makes you feel shitty. Whatever. Now that you're here, that's the weight off my shoulders. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, just happy. Just, fuck it. Just happy to help. Whatever. I'll talk to Matt. Thanks again, Vincent. Uh, sure thing, Kelly. I'm not gonna let her know anything. No problem at all. Yeah. Uh, ciao. It's French. So he did he message us. Uh, Matt joined Facebook. Fuck this shit. Posted on Matt's YouTube playlist. I am what I am. What I am. What I am. Okay. Posted five photos. Kick. Matthew, kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. Got five fingers on each hand for every mistake that I've made. Plus my tongue is tied to tonsils and I need to shit and shave. I'm a shade to shade too pale for handsome and have habits I can't shake. Try to take them from me and I won't be the same train wreck that I am. My homeboy is like down bad. I don't want to force anything too much right now. I feel... I do want to. Yeah, you're my, you're my friend now. You're my friend, so let's talk about shit. I just feel bad. Why do you feel bad? I hope he... I hope Matt opens up about what he did with Evelyn. I'm not my usual self, probably no fun to talk to. I'm not my usual self, probably no fun to talk to. Doesn't need to be fun, can actually read what you say. Doesn't need to be fun. Not every conversation needs to be fun. Yeah. I agree to disagree super healthy so welcome to sad boy city population me now it's population of us sorry if we went down oh my god i want to check out your fucking playlist Matt. daniel powder bad day so you had a bad day colorado sunshine 303 against me your new twin size bed, Hollywood Undead, Paradise Lost. Uh, I guess, dude, just found the fuckers angsty. <laughs> bad. <laughs> You're listening, unironically, the bad day, you gotta be joking. 
What? What's wrong with the song? Not applicable to breakups. About it's about a single bad day. This song's for like children. I'm having a bad day. Are you saying it's not for me? It's for babies, man. Your problems are way bigger. You're having a bad month. <laughs> you got done. Let's face it, your problems are way bigger. Nah, I nearly just died from laughing. Hell yeah, let's go, dude. We made him laugh. Thanks for making me crack up, Vincent. Let's go, dude. That's what I do. Now turn off that playlist. Now turn off that playlist and never listen to Bad Day again. That's pretty good. Hell yeah, we made him laugh. That's a good sign. <clears throat> Still can't believe I'm single. Well, you fucking weren't focused on your girlfriend. You were trying to get laid. She just came over to hang out like any other day, but the second she got here, she said we needed to talk and just told me. It's still with the disconnections. Oh my god! It's not even. It's not even the internet. It's just OBS. Why does this keep? Why does this keep doing it? I'm not getting any drop frames or anything. It li literally just disconnects from OBS. That's so annoying. Uh, she just came over to hang out yesterday, like any other day. But the second she got here, she said we needed to talk and just told me. How are you? How are you doing? Like really? So frustrating. I'm so sorry for anybody that's getting like re-hit up about these about the reconnection and stuff like that i thought it was fixed still kind of in shock i keep replaying the conversation in my head like was there anything i could have said or done differently she had made up her mind on port now nothing you could have done was there anything i could have said or done differently it seemed like she had made up her mind oh what was i supposed to tell him i was supposed to tell tell him um Can you tell him I'm sorry? Okay, so all we need to do is just tell him that Kelly is sorry. Okay. She made up her mind. The way you described it, it sounds like she had made up... She had her mind made up. But maybe I should have picked up on stuff. Maybe I could have changed things long before now. Can't go back in time, but then you wouldn't be you. Thinking like that won't help. Could have changed things like before now, can't go back in time, but then that would be you. I, I mean, but then I wouldn't have been being you, you know? I guess that's true. I don't know when things got like this. You need, you, like we were really good for so long. She's not that Kelly anymore. She is who she, maybe you just, yeah, you two just screw apart from each other. That happens. The big thing is, is, is Matthew going to admit that he's been trying to talk to Emily, or that he called Emily today? Do you think she could ever, like, I don't know, love me again? Because he's obviously still so hung up on Kelly. He could probably be trying to go to Emily as, like, a rebound thing, or just, like, it's just the, the closest girl that he knows because of me. And he's maybe trying to, like, I don't know get a girl's perspective no not really but do you think she could ever like i don't know love me again definitely entirely on her she'd focus on maybe but maybe but out of your hand she'd focus on you now definitely you should you should focus yeah i think you should just focus on you now if your relationship takes two you know but maybe i could say something or change something i don't know Show her you're independent. I don't think you can. If you want her back, show her... First, show her you can be independent. Yeah. Right, just be independent. Yeah, be by yourself, man. Just show that you can grow on your own. I'm sorry I'm like this. I just never loved anyone but Kelly. Didn't have other crushes. Never thought about 
after her like other people but, uh, didn't do oh, you haven't had any other crushes I'm gonna go I'll poke you Matt you fucker like in middle school nah fuck you dude I know you're fucking I know your little sneaky weasel ways I was just wondering what people if not Kelly who would I have a crush on no one, no, no one in particular I mean, no one in particular, I guess. No, I promise you I've only ever been after Kelly, okay? Okay, okay. Maybe I was being overly friendly. I think I do that sometimes, but I don't mean anything by it. Okay. Tone it down a bit? Should work on that. Maybe, maybe you might want to, I don't know, tone it down. Tone that down a bit. If you want to have Kelly... I could do that. Let's go. Let's go. I think this is good. This is a good conversation. I, 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 oh. This just, this just sucks. I hope people don't think I'm a creep now. Okay, this is good. This is, this is really good. I think, I think Evelyn misunder, misinterpreted Matt's, Matt's friendliness. Because Matt seems really genuinely, like, upset that him and Kelly broke up, right? I think, I think Evelyn over overread that situation with her and Matt. I think Matt respects me and Emily. I don't know what the call was about, but I can. I, but I trust Emily. I, I know Emily wouldn't do anything. I can do that. Yeah. Just, just this just sucks. I hope people don't think I'm a creep. I don't think anyone does. Everything will be fine. Everything, everything will be fine. Well, everything will end up fine. But I, I'm glad that he. He reacted well to us telling him to tone down being overly friendly, because that means hopefully he, he will step back from being too friendly with Emily and Evelyn and Anna or whoever else. But like, trust me, Vincent, you're my best friend. I tell you, I I tell you this kind of shit. I believe you, Matt. Don't get sappy on me. I believe you. I, I believe you. Matt. I believe you. I believe you. I'm a, I, I, I trust him. I trust. You're my best friend. GF GFC first Kelly breaks up with me, then people think I'm a creep. This is okay. This is this is good. We were able to tell him without like outright telling him about Evelyn and everything like that. We never fully said what what, what happened, but we we were able to at least get him in the direction of like, hey, people are seeing you this way. You might wanna you know not not go that direction so this is good this is really good kelly wrote on evelyn's wall hello evelyn this is pretty random but want to go to the mall tomorrow we can be a couple single ladies together why would you say that dude come on don't 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 say that like flaunting that with flaunting that in front of matt that's just that's kind of fucked up Merry Christmas, right? What did you ask for? I'm really sorry, man. Santa fucking hates you. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry, man. Let's just make a laugh and see if Santa Claus fucking hates you. I can't fucking... You're looking at the king of the naughty list right here. What did you do? Fuck this guy. In particular, you beat, you beat out Ben Laden and everything. You beat out Ben Laden and everything. Okay, this is good. I think this is a good conversation. I think we actually worked well here with 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 Matt. I think this was very productive. Let's go. Stole Vince's hoodie. This has happened. This look this hell this look. This hoodie looks hella comfortable too. So what do you think of my new profile? I mean it's pretty bare bones, dude. You're not really You can try and make this pretty pick up all my dirty clothes and if you never really get me then I guess you'll never know the train wreck that I am and I am what I am what I am the train wreck just let me burn it's what I deserve uh, you need to change your status fuck this shit nice profile picture looks like you need to change your status yeah I think you need to change your status immediately dude. just don't don't be so woe is me my dude I think it's it's okay to like. 
I don't know. Oh man. So you know how you lost that sweatshirt? Look who just found. I've been so cold. So my dad wanted to talk about tonight. Uh oh. He said we can chill in the basement unsupervised. Let's go. I guess your parents like it. Okay, I th uh, we'll get right on that. Do you think it's dumb I made a new one? Honestly, a little. Whatever helps. It was good, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what I would tell somebody. What's up with this new Matthew Gursky profile you're friends with? Kelly showed me it. It's Matt's new profile. It, I reached out to Matt. Yeah, I found Matt and reached out to him. Well, I mean, Kelly did. He made a new profile. Yeah. Thanks, Vince. I, I just really wanted a fresh out of this. And I'm your first friend. Gotta friend everyone out. Yeah, look at that. I'm your first friend. What's the deal? Is he like, okay, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's been better. Definitely not himself. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure that given some time, he'll be fine. Oh, you are, oh man, just got wicked deja vu of helping you save your life. So I was much of actually. It was fun. It was kind of fun. I'm just glad that you can be there for him. You're a good friend, Vincent. Thanks. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be at least. Yeah, it was. Well, senior year is like halfway over college time. So coming up quick. Yeah, it's seriously coming up quick. Having someone to talk to when shit hits the fan like this is so important. So what actually happened between him and Kelly? Kelly ended things. Did, did I? Kelly ended things. I don't know, but they're not talking. Matt was blindsided. I'm not going to say she was blindsided. I want to make sure I don't say anything. If I told Kelly I wasn't going to say anything. First hit the promise not to repeat this to anyone. Right. Cool. Can I have to ask you a favor? First you have to promise not to like repeat this to anyone. Are you free tonight? No, but I just want you really good at listening to stuff like that. You can totally talk about it. If you could talk to him. Okay. Uh, Kelly, I don't know, but they're not talking. Kelly ended things. I, I, she didn't tell me not to tell anything. I think that's fine. I wonder if people will keep in touch or not. Just real friends. Just your real friends will at least. He'll bounce back. I know. Feel I feel bad for you know Matt. You can't stay sad. He'll bounce back. He'll bounce back. Yeah, I'm sure he'll bounce back at that time. Yeah. What's your M's plans for college? Well, I don't know. We haven't really talked about that. Sorry, maybe that was forward. Haven't thought about it. Probably stay together. Let's see what we get. Haven't thought about. It. Probably stay together. Yeah. I think we'll probably end up staying together. That's what I want. I'm sure. Oh my god, I almost forgot about the relationship quiz. It was right there. You're gonna be surprised. Check it out. I learned a lot. It was very telling. Wow, that's awesome. Let's go, Matt. Hell yeah, dude. So, are you two like really good? I think I love her. Ooh, we're really happy. I don't want to say I love her yet. We're really happy. I think we're really happy right now. It's really good. We're like really happy together. Oh yeah, first place, but hold up, why is Kelly so close to me? Pretty weird, right? Better watch out, him. Better watch out, him. Better watch out, him. Yeah, right, Kelly is like way out of your level. <laughs> you do realize that you're just insulting yourself. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, my turn. Let's see who my secret crush is. Oh fuck, it's gonna be Matt. Quiz isn't long. I better be number one. It's gonna be Matt. Oh my god, I just had the best idea. Me and you should hang out soon like we used to just chill and play video games like we should. Those were the days. So, holy shit. Vincent, shh, I gotta focus. I'm gonna go for the high score here. Can't be silenced. She hasn't poked me in a minute. Would also have the benefit of helping me forget about my depressing wife. It's like she's gonna play that card. That is until I crush you got some bands. How about tonight I'll bring over some games or something? I also sincerely promise not to be mopey be a mopey piece of shit. Can't date with them. Can't. No, I have a I have a date tonight. Man, that's a bummer. One question left, I'm gonna beat you because it's broken. Can't have a date with M later. And that's a bummer some other time. I'm really sorry, it'll be okay. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, dude. It's just you wait, so what's Matt saying? Wanted to hang out. Wanted to hang tonight. Nothing important. Wanted to hang tonight. We're and Mrs. chilling together. Wanted to hang out tonight, but I said we had plans. Which is true. It's cool, Vincent. Well, thanks again for talking to my depressing self. Everyone else, don't mention that. Of course, Matt. Of course, Matt. Do you think that was okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Just want to see you. He'll be fine. Hang some other time. He'll be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's a big he's a big boy. I think I'm just gonna take a nap or something. Have fun in your day. We'll try. Naps are always good. I'll tell him to him. We try. Naps are always good. Naps are always a good idea. Matthew says just Matthew McGur Matthew Gursky is just let me burn. It's what I deserve. Peace. If you say so, I am selfishly excited about tonight. It's gonna to be great, you should be. I'm excited too. I love just driving around with you, but I thought we were hanging out in your basement. And then we get to chill here after. Hell yeah, let's go and make out. With tongue. I'm gonna submit this quiz. It's been like 10 years. It's been 84 years. Oh, <gasps> was I first? Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. She got 96% for me. Dude, we are. Dude, we we are a hundred percent here. So I had 94. She. We got Matt. We got Matt to to see that he might have been creeping a little bit on some people, so we got him to realize that and to stop creeping on people. Uh, specifically, probably Evelyn and Emily. Uh, he is in a better mood than when he was when he first got broken up with, and um, we're on Kelly's good side because we talked to Matt. We didn't. Um, we never admitted or shared what Evelyn told us in terms of Matt um, hitting on her, so to speak, or whatever. So we were able to keep her secret. Um, we didn't throw Matt under the bus, which is good. So I think we're in a really, really good spot right now going forward for the next, for the next episode. So let's fucking go. Okay, so Emily is I love you, Vincent. Let's fucking go. Oh, look at we're 
huddling. Let's go! Who is that? What a cute couple. She's kissing me on the lips. And we're holding hands on a romantic late night drive with Vincent. Less than three. Let's go. I won the poke war. She gives up. Matt says, fuck today. Emily wrote on my wall. Oh my god. Pendulum is going on tour and coming to Boston. Can we go to the next show? Dude, how, how do I not love Emily? She, she, she likes drum and bass. And Matt is going to attend a uh, high school prom. Let's fucking go.